Welcome to the Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. Nice to see you all uh, on this beautiful, uh, sunny Southern California day. Uh, I know most of you are from Scandinavia or different part of, parts of the world, but finally the sun show, showed up and we're kind of sun worshipers here in California, so we can, we have very little, to, uh, we can't tolerate bad weather for too long. <laughs> Everyone starts complaining. Um, there's a couple different things that I like to talk about. Uh, Hilda brought up a subject about if I can talk about the observer, which I'll be more than happy to talk about it, and as well as um, the all the babble and all the blah 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 that we keep hearing in our minds on a continuous basis. So let's talk about the observer. Let's talk about the place, this uh, space that we basically um, permanently living in and we're staying in this place. That's our permanent place that if you go one step back beyond because what is going on what's in the front is the stream of thoughts where there's continuous continuously thoughts are passing through and you know it it's like streaming down it's like a radio station which is continuously on and it's just going like blah 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 from from the time you're waking up in the morning or even when you're sleeping at night you're having these stream of thoughts going through your mind and but let's say you wake up in the morning and you're going to start doing your routine you get up you go in the bathroom shower and you're taking your shower you're getting ready for the day and you are not present with the feeling of the water hitting your face hitting your body being in a shower taking a nice warm shower you're not being being there and all you're thinking about is what is it you need to do uh you have to send emails you have appointments you need to make a phone call and all the stuff you need to do when you go to work you got to go pick up your kids you got to make some food so you're not there if you can if you pay attention to this uh you notice that even with very simple things, very elementary things during the day, that doesn't really require a lot of effort. What you can you can do is you can turn the poison to medicine. That that what you can do is basically <clears throat> bring your awareness in that moment, and just you are in the shower and the water is pouring down, and just enjoy the moment of taking a nice warm shower for a few minutes and just get out of the stream of thoughts notice the stream of thoughts disconnect from it and for those few moments just enjoy the shower then you get out of the shower and you're doing the next thing whatever the next thing is you're making breakfast okay and again the mind goes into this other place gets dissolved into the stream of thoughts thinking about all the issues or things that we have to deal with and then again once you catch yourself you do the same thing you bring yourself back and into the moment of making breakfast or let's say you made eggs and now you're eating the eggs and just enjoy the eggs look at the texture of them 
you add salt, pepper to it, whatever you do, and just be present with it as much as you can. You made yourself a cup of tea and you're drinking your tea or coffee. Just enjoy the coffee, just be present with it. Even if it's for a few moments that you're going to be doing it. So once you start to implement this in your daily life, you, what, you, what you're doing is you're creating a situation that consciously you're creating, because these are like unconscious patterns of doing things. Like unconsciously, you, you go and take a shower, you wash your hair, you, you um, condition your hair, you do everything, you come out, you dry your body, you dry your hair, you put your clothes on, you make your breakfast. This is happening uncon unconsciously and it doesn't require much of an effort or much of presence when you're doing it. But if you bring awareness into it, so what happens is you have shifted something. What you have shifted is now from being on the front means what I mean is instead of being identified to the stream of thoughts that is going through your mind. So you're lost in your thoughts and your body is unconsciously is doing something. Your body is unconsciously is getting itself ready, is making breakfast or getting behind uh, your car, your vehicle, and driving to work, right? Now, you bring awareness. So what happens is that you are taking the back seat. Means you have gone into the place of the observer. You, you have gone into the space of the being. You have gone into the presence and identifying with the presence instead of the unconscious stream of thoughts that automatically is we become identified and we become that and the stream of thoughts is not here it's not present it's always has something to do with the past or the future. So when you make this as a practice to yourself, you create this practice. What you do is eventually, as time goes by, you find yourself more and more uh, settling into the present settling into the observer rather than being identified rather than being your thoughts you have taken a step back and you are identifying more and you're taking more time with who you really are you're coming back into the presence Does this make any sense? Anybody? Yeah. Now you can take this further and bring it into different aspects of your life. Of course, you go for a walk. Uh, these days, if we go for a walk, we're going a long walk. Most people are on their cell phone or they're sending a text message or they're listening to music or they're making phone calls or things like that.